My buyer closed a month ago and has since discovered $19,000 in plumbing issues that weren't found during the inspection. They are very upset. How can I help smooth this over? So here's my advice to you. Number one, first I want to tell you that you can't control everything. When something goes wrong that you could not control, you're hard on yourself. So don't be too hard on yourself, number one. Number two, how can you better prepare for next time? For me, I set expectations very clear with my buyers and my sellers for every circumstance that can happen. As realtors, we see things that can happen all the time. Problems from mold inspections to pools having cracks and leaking, you name it. We've seen it all, right? And what I like to do is set my buyers and sellers, in this specific question, your buyer, up for expectations so they're very clear. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, guess what? I sell a lot of homes, I know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna get every inspection out there. But sometimes there are some unforeseen things that we may not see. And I'm just telling you, this has happened in the past, blah, 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 blah. You're, you're setting and laying the foundation so in the event that happens, your buyer is not mad at you. Because I'm telling you, they're always gonna point the, the finger at us. It's just like janitors, right? If something goes missing inside of an office, you always blame the janitor. I hate it, I'm sorry janitors, but that's true. It's the same with realtors, we always get the blame. And so what I want you to do is I want to set you up for success by telling you, you need to set proper expectations for everything. I set expectations and prayed for the best. And when the worst happened, my sellers and buyers were not upset because guess what? I already set those expectations. So that's number one. Number two is I want to encourage you at this time, right? Because there's, you can't do that only for moving forward on new buyers. But what I can tell you is this, this is a crucial time to not neglect your buyer, right? Your buyer's upset. They're angry. They're sad. They're mad. And guess what? You are probably like, I'm going to leave them alone because they're so mad and I'm telling you that's the wrong thing to do. As a realtor, you should try to literally salvage this relationship. And they may hate you, they may not like you, and it may be hard, but guess what? You couldn't control it. And so what I would be doing is I'd be going, hey, Mr. Buyer, Mrs. Buyer, what can I do to help? I know that we didn't see these issues. I know that, guess what, there's a lot of termites and it was unforeseen issues that we could not see. I couldn't see it. What can I do now? Can I line up three pest termite inspection companies for you? Can I get bids for the roof that just fell down? Can I, can I, can I, right? That is what you need to do is be there for them. And even at best, at best they go, great, thanks for being there, Tyler. At worst, I don't want anything to do with you, Tyler. I'm out of here. At least you know you can sleep better at night knowing you did everything you can. I, I don't want to see realtors who get in this predicament, and it happens. Guys, we can't control everything in real estate. And things go sideways a lot of the times. And so guess what? This is not a time to neglect your buyer. You may feel that you don't want to call them because you're, you're ashamed, you're mad, and I'm telling you, the best time to reach out to them is now during this crisis. That you're the realtor, rock star realtor that's going to save the day for them on this unforeseen issue. Like You're there for them even when problems arise. You're not just there for the commission check. Because I promise you, they think you're only there for the commission check when they see these problems. Now you can prove them wrong and be there when they actually need you. Take this and really learn from it from moving forward and take this piece of advice and go after those buyers that aren't too happy or those sellers that aren't too happy for things you could not foresee. Make it happen. Call them. Ciao.